What's up, guys? Look what I'm holding. No, this isn't a cow's tongue. Whoa, look at that. It's like a spaceship, right? Star Trek. This is the Cubanelle pepper. This is a mildly hot pepper. It's a very large, mildly hot pepper. Okay. I'll show it to you on my hand. You can see it's much bigger than my hand. It's a very large pepper. Not sure what to say too much about it, but it's quite a beautiful pepper. You can see the shape on it. Okay. Let's take a bite. Skins are a little tough this year. I noticed that on a few peppers. Kind of a thin wall. Very sweet. Tastes just like any of the Marconi's or regular bell peppers once they sweeten up, but it's not overly sweet. So far at the tip, it was pretty good. A very pleasant experience. Heat. I didn't really taste any heat at the end of it anyway, but I know these do have a little heat on them. So far, it's sweet. I don't really feel any heat at all. There's a couple of peppers that look, seeds in there that look kind of old. So, what's my take? Well, this one didn't have any heat on it, but I have eaten these where they have had heat on them, and I've had, sorry guys, I gotta hold you up out, and that's tough on the arm. I have eaten these where they are kinda hot, 200 on a Scoville scale, you do feel a little bit of heat on it. Nothing scary, nothing hot at all. But if your dish doesn't want any heat in it, maybe because of your gas or something like that, you just be aware that there is a little bit of heat on the Cubanel. All right, so it tends to be a little warm. Keep that in mind when you're using it for your cooking when you got guests. They may not like heat and I don't know, they, you may not want to put heat in their meal. So taste was very, I would say, very sweet, nice and juicy and watery. It was crunchy, uh, has all the attributes of a fantastic grilling pepper, has all the fantastic attributes of a pepper you'd want to include in your meats. Uh, some people refer to spicy as being the heatiness of it. I didn't, if that's what you want to rate it as, I didn't taste it being spicy at all. You could eat these all day long. You might, like I said, you might hit one that does have some heat on it. It varies on a plant. Some of them have it, some of them don't. So I'm not going to say it, it doesn't have heat. They do get a little heat, but it's not high at all. It's in the low heat range of peppers, definitely in a low heat range, but you do get them a little bit. It's kind of like poblanos are kind of like that. Some poblanos, you eat them, and you're like, oh, this is great, no heat. And all of a sudden, you're making a dish, you don't know it, next thing you know, you use the poblano, and there's heat in it. And the people you're serving the food to don't like heat. And it looks like a dirty joke to them, or they don't eat the whole dish, you know, and that's kind of, for you as a cook, it's kind of, you don't want to see that, you know. It's You know you like to see somebody finish their plate, almost licking the plate clean because they were so satisfied with the cooking. That's very satisfying to somebody who does their own cooking or a chef or something like that. So it's a good pepper. My advice is to definitely grow it. If you're new to gardening and you're looking to start out with a newer type of pepper other than bell peppers, this is definitely one you should start with. It's easy to grow. It produces about anywhere between a half dozen and a dozen fruits based on your climate, growing conditions, and everything else. A good year, bad year. So keep that in mind. But this is definitely up there with the standard peppers that you really should be growing, especially if you're a cook and you want to have variety in your dishes. You want to just introduce different things in your dishes like Marconi's, and, but you don't want to go too far out in the fringe yet. You just want to stick with the basics. This is definitely one of the foundation basics of the peppers that you would choose for your dishes. They do have slightly different variations of taste. So as you pick your peppers off your plant, if you're a chef, taste your peppers first to see where it fits in your genre of taste for that particular dish you're making just to so you're on key with it and then you know make your dish based on that or choose that pepper based on the dish you're making all right so this was your heirloom reviews pepper taste for the cubanelle pepper and i will see you on the next one